Now this photo here was taken in the early 2000s outside Majestic Aquariums. So there's the Majestic Aquariums team at the time. And we were honoured with a visit from Ad Connings, who is that fellow there. Now Ad Connings is an author and researcher of cichlids. Now back in those days, having him here was an absolute honour. Look how fat I was. I was pretty fat back in those days. I'm pretty glad I've gone off the beer a little bit. Not as be as fat as then. But it's really amazing how much things have changed. For example, back in those days, if you wanted to learn about fish, you read a book. Or you go down to your local aquarium shop, talk to them, talk to friends. There was no internet back in those days. And at the trade shows, when the authors came, whether it be Ad Connings, whether it be Julian Sprung, or any of the names, they literally had a posse that would follow them around and ask them questions, and it was a very, very exciting time to be able to get in the head of someone so knowledgeable. But now I've found that though that still happens to a little bit of an extent, and fish-keeping groupies do exist, it's really nothing to the extent or excitement that it used to be. We used to be able to put on seminars. I'd do them myself. Ad Connings would do them. We could literally fill a hall because people were hungry for information. Nowadays, with the internet, absolutely everything is available at any time. And that's a wonderful and powerful tool to be able to research. But it is a shame that that sort of level of excitement you just don't see anymore anyway tell us your thoughts